Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this olive-y, halo-y, sparkly eye look. <laughs> I was a little bit inspired by winter and kind of like my homage to winter and I kind of sat down and I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do, kind of know what I wanted it to turn out as and it didn't exactly turn out how I wanted but I do love how the colors turned out and I am loving this for like my last winter look for February. I am moving on to spring in March. We're going to do some more pastel colors, some more like light and pretty colors and I'm really excited. So for this video, I do kind of let my creative flow, I've been feeling a little bit blocked, not really sure like where or what I kind of wanted to do today and for the next couple videos. So I just kind of grabbed a bunch of palettes and it ended up being all Jaclyn Hill palettes. So apparently Jaclyn Hill loves this olive color and so do I. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. All right guys, so my lids are primed and set. I do like to set my lids because I have creasing. My old eyes get some creasing in there, so I like to set my lid to prevent the creasing. And if I have any problems with like building color, I just build it up as opposed to leaving the primer tacky and then not needing to put as much color on. So I don't have a whole, I have a small idea of what I want to do, but I don't have a big idea. So I hope this turns out good. I know I want to practice my spotlight eye. So we're going to do that type of situation. And I know I want to do like an olive-y type of color, but hopefully this turns out olive-y. We shall see. I'm also using a bunch of different palettes today. So not going to be like an easy look. I've just kind of had a little bit of a creative block, so I'm just going to let my juices flow and go with it. And that's what we're doing today. So for the first color, I'm going to take my Morphe M511 and this color from the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette. And I'm going to blend that into the crease. Very gently. And all the way in the inner corner. Get this nice and blended. And I'm going to bring it pretty high up. Because we're doing a spotlight eye, which is where it's like shimmery in the middle. I want my transition in dark shade to go up a little bit higher than that. I think because I'm kind of going to do my creative juices, I'm going to do this eye first and then I'm going to do that eye. So this is kind of going to be like my homage to winter, my last kind of dark wintry look. I'm going to start focusing more on spring looks, pastel colors, maybe some flower inspired looks, very spring. Okay, it's pretty good for our first shade. Again, you just want to make sure it's like really blended up by your brow. Okay, so now that we have our first shade blended, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M433 and this shade Top Secret from the Armed and Gorgeous palette by Jaclyn Hill. And we're going to focus this on the outer an inner corner and then you like blend them together upwards and then we're just gonna go back in with the first brush kind of blend all that together blend the edges out and I'm just gonna go in and do that one more time until right now that I'm basically using all Jaclyn Hill palettes. They just have the best olive colors in them. So I'm gonna go in with the original Jaclyn Hill palette. 
And I'm gonna take that super dark color, this dark green color right here on a Morphe M562. Just like a really small blender brush. And I'm gonna put that in the inside. Right on the inner corner. The third of the way, let's say. In the outer corner. And then blend the two. And I'm not bringing this up super far. I want to mainly focus this color in my crease, but I'm like a little above my crease. Like in the socket. So kind of going upward with my brush. Apparently Jaclyn Hill likes green. These are the palettes with green in them. This khaki, like olive-y type, this olive type of color. It's just like all Jaclyn Hill. So then I'm gonna go in the second color. Blend that up a little bit. Back in with the first brush. I'm gonna do that again. Just build the color up a little. So here's what I'm thinking. Just an, an insight into my creative flow. I wanna do a spotlight, so I know that I wanna do like shimmer right in this area here. But do I want to use concealer or do I want the dark shade to influence the color I'm putting on my lid? Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna go in with concealer. Don't wanna mess this up. So I'm just gonna go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. And I am using a Morphe 213, which is just like this teeny tiny brush. I have some primer on there and I'm gonna put it on my lid. I'm going to bring it up in this space here. And you don't want to take too long with this step because this does get tacky. And then what I'm going to do is right in the crease, I'm going to kind of cut it out, make it real sharp, like right in the crease. And just like thinly bring it out, like really thin. Like right at the crease. Like taper it down from there. And then, once that's on, I'm gonna grab this Dose of Colors Quad. It is the collab with Desi and Katie. It is not available anymore, but I love this shade. And I'm gonna go into this shade here with my little brush. Smash it on there with the glitter glue. And then I'm gonna pop it on my lid. In the area where the glitter glue is. I just really want to get like the initial shadow down. And I will go back in. Kind of make it more opaque. But for now I just want to get like this effect going. I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. Okay, so then when the lid shade is where you want it to be, you're going to go back in with that little pencil 
and kind of like hit the edges a little bit to blend. Like that. And then I'm just going to take a clean brush and just kind of hit right at the top, right at the edge. It's really hard to see because of the reflect on the outside, but that's where it's there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, and I'm going to do my face, and then we'll come back for the lower lash line. Alright guys, so I am back. I have my full face on. I put on some Lily Lashes in the style Mink Miami, and I am ready to do my lower lash line. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with an eyeliner. I'm using the NYX Slide On Glide On Eyeliner in Golden Olive. And I'm going to put that in my waterline. And a little bit on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with that top secret shade, which is this one with a Luxie 141. And I'm going to run that along the liner and connect it in the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics small crease brush and potion. We're going to blend that out. Don't be afraid to bring it nice and low. Alright, and then sometimes I like to use this small brush if I feel like I need to blend somewhere. Oh, I love, I love a good green. Brings out the green in my eyes. Oh, they look green. They look really green. Love it. I am going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner with the highlight that I used, which is the Dose of Colors Fuego Highlighter. And just my BH Cosmetics shader brush that I always use. Go under the brow. And in the corner. And then just take that little brush again. Go right where the shimmer meets the mat. Alright, let's zoom out for the final look. I got some bottom mascara. Put some mascara on the bottom. Hello. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Woo. I will say that it is probably more of a halo eye than a spotlight eye. Kind of got a little out of hand with that shimmer. Wasn't really working well with the technique that you would need for like a spotlight type of eye. So it's, you know, whatever, I rolled with my creative flow, as I said, and I did want to kind of use that because I'm pretty sure it's not, you know, I'm pretty sure it's going bad. So I wanted to use that palette a little bit, and I think that this turned out so pretty, like that color, I'm just digging the olive for fall. I do love it with this lip color. I use the Jouer Lip Cream in Bare. If you do have any questions about what products I use on my face or anything besides the eyeshadows that I use or brushes that I use, check the description bar below because I always list anything that I don't even show on camera. I do list in the description box. Also, you'll find the links to my social media and stuff down there too, so it's always great to check that out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye!